Every morning should start out with a good breakfast, if you can. I highly recommend it. Yeah, so this desk is covered with mayhem this morning. It's super duper covered in mayhem. And I know, I know it's been a couple of days since I've been on YouTube and I apologize for that, but I am really not, I'm not sorry that I took a full day off yesterday. I hardly ever do that, especially this time of year, but I really just needed to get out of the shop. Um, the shop is awesome and I love my shop, uh, but it doesn't have any windows in it, y'all. So I have to like look way out there to see any kind of windows and it's just, you know, I, I needed some fresh air. I needed to, and, and I, I think I wrote a post yesterday. I'm 100% convinced that spending any amount of time on the water is going to lengthen my life. And, and it really does. So I didn't catch anything huge. Um, I got, a, I finally got the proper scale. So I, I always try to weigh the fish, but the bigger ones I just have a hard time with because I have one of those digital scales. The scale is fantastic, but uh, it's got one of those meat hook hangers. So I broke down, bit the bullet, and bought a Rapala clip-on scale where you, you add the scale to the meat hook hanger and then you zero it out again and then you put your fish on and it's a much safer way. Um, so 2.6 was my heaviest and, and uh, the other fish, I only caught two yesterday, but it was still awesome. Spent like six hours on the water, but just beautiful, beautiful day. The other one was about two pounds. So still fun, still worth it. Got some vitamin D and I'm ready to rock and roll in the shop this morning, but holy crap, what in the world is going on in here? So um, I'm not gonna blame Chris Mazurka for this, and I hope I didn't butcher your last name, Chris, because I really enjoy you know the orders and, and making some really cool creations for you guys up in Canada. I just, I love it. I'm having a blast doing it. Um, but these require special size eyes. These are 10 millimeters. Most of the stuff that I do, um, the biggest I use, like when I replace the eyes on these Strike Kings, um, this is a traditional red-eyed shad came out of this pack. Um, but anyways, I a lot of times I'll replace the eyes. This is a 7 millimeter eye. So that's usually, unless I'm doing super huge baits, that's the biggest that I ever deal with. These were just a little small. I have living eyes, eight fives. And then <clears throat> I did the contest, and thank you, by the way, a shout out to Johnston Lures. Um, I won the toothache. There were two, the, there was a perch pattern, um, and then they did a, a shoot, what was it? The toothache pattern. And they're big, musky perch or um, pike type style baits. Um, the company's out of Canada and I won. So that was really cool. I'll post a picture of my winning pattern above right now. So thank you, Johnston Lures, but I'm gonna be getting more lures from them because that was part of the prize pack, was the prize pack, um, was a bunch of lures, blanks. They create, they have their own unique blanks, which I'm thrilled to get my hands on some more bigger baits. I'm just, I'm having fun working with more real estate. Who wouldn't be? It's just a bigger canvas for me to create some cool patterns. But I, you have to do eyes that are special for these, and these are 10 millimeter, and I just put them on this one as a demonstration. They do sit a little bit higher. It's not going to affect how the, how the bait swims, um, but it is going to add an insignificant amount of weight, and you have to be much more careful when you dip these. So I'm going to brush this on. Uh, one side at a time. I could probably get away with dipping this one side at a time, but I really don't like to gum up the, because you have to attach the bills afterwards. Um, and, and that's not going to be a problem, but I don't want to gum up the, uh, the bill insert, the slot with, uh, with epoxy or clear coat. It's actually resin that I use. Um, but the eyes, because it's got such of a such of a much, what is that, girth, width, um, depth to them, when they're hanging, it might have a tendency to run and add a little bit. So that's something that you just need to be mindful of and, and uh, keep an eye on. So these will be watched closely while they clear coat today and tomorrow it's going to be a two-day process because I want to do one side at a time. Um, because you definitely want these to be super awesome when they leave.
But back to the eyes. So what does 25 bucks get you? Normally, I use this guy right here, and I love John. He's quality, he builds his own, does the own, does the imaging, has a lot of really unique patterns. But in a pinch, I'm like, ah, how bad can it be? It's not that bad, but here's the pitfall. The, the pitfall to ordering anything off of Amazon, number one, you, you really never know what the quality is gonna be. Overall, I'm impressed with the image quality, and they all seem to be exactly the same size. These are the 10 millimeters, these are the six millimeters. But what you don't get is consistency. Um, this was supposed to have been um, a quantity of 200. I got 209 in this, and yes, I counted every single one of these this morning. Um, but you don't have, let's see if I can find uh, an example right here. So like this one, there's seven. I need eight or six. I need a pair of eyes. I don't need three pairs of eyes and an extra that I'll never be able to use unless you order more, which I'm probably not going to. But in a pinch, it'll get you through. So this was this was $11.99. This was $12.99. Now this one, the, the patterns are cool. Again, these are glass and not resin. Um, and the, 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 they're both the same, and I'll just use the larger ones as an example. The, obviously, they're not on a sticky card. If they were on a sticky card, they probably would have been in pairs because um, it's just easier to load onto a card that way. But the other issue is you have to glue them. So you have to use something like a Loctite or a Gorilla Glue, um, something that's going to help them stick, which is fine. Um, there's a bunch of different patterns in here, but uh, they're not all evenly distributed. So again, I've got seven of those. I do have some odd numbers. I'm not going to go through each one. You can kind of see what I got. And the patterns that I got, I'm pretty stoked about. Um, they're decent patterns. So I think that they'll look really good on some of the bigger musky baits that I'm building now. These, um, beautiful again. You, there's a lot more work that's gonna be involved with them. My big problem with this is that I paid for 300, I got 274. So that would have never happened with John at Jetson, ever. Um, and they, uh, these are supposed to be six millimeter. I put just a couple on here and you can almost see that that's just a little bit bigger than some of these. So they're, the consistency of this is not as good as I would have liked it to have been. But again, in a pinch, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, and again, they're not evenly distributed in patterns. So when I separated everything out, I have some odd numbers. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of odd numbers. Like some of these smaller ones right here, I've got 15, 15, 15, 13. Uh, I got four of those, which is happy. I got four of those. But it wasn't an even distribution of the patterns that I got. Um, I'm stoked about these. These are cool. Um, but again, it, it, you get what you pay for. So if you want top quality and some unique patterns, go see that guy at Jetson. John is awesome. And that's who I normally used, except I needed a really fast two-day turnaround time because uh, I did. So lesson learned. And again, some of the patterns are really cool, but that's not all we have. I wanna get you guys into these and kind of show off what we've got. I'm not gonna pick them up, um, but just I uh, showed you a little bit about this. He asked for some specific colors, and then as, as usual, he gives me the creative freedom to turn in my, my creative ideas to a pattern for him. So obviously that's a pike pattern, which musky munch pike, we all know that. Um, he asked for this particular crawl pattern, which he saw on a Rapala repaint that I did. And I kind of kind of been getting into the Rapala repaints lately. I'm going to talk about this little guy in just a second. Um, and then we just did some really cool airbrushing. This is all hand painted. And then this, I did a little bit of a live stream the other day um, and kind of did a speed session where I actually hand detailed every single one of these bubbles into, or scales, if you will, into this pattern. Um, yellow and purple is, is a winning combination. It's been proven as a pattern before, and uh, I just added my own little Jekyll Bait Company twist to it. So these are eight inch single jointed um, inserts <clears throat> for the bills. And I believe, I wanna say they weigh somewhere between one and two ounces. 
I could be off on that. I'm not looking at the spec sheet right now. And these came from Schultz. Um, I've gotten some pretty decent reviews on these. Um, try and, and actually it was the suggestion of the customer to get them. So I'm happy if you're happy, Chris. These, a um, lot, of, lot of toothy critter patterns lately. Tina asked for five unique walleye trollers and uh she sent me in the, this is a a combination of bandits rapalas and i think there's another one in here somewhere so it's like two and two and one one rapala two bandits and two of something else i think um, but that's all on the bill you can end up I've, I've got the original boxing for that so these I did a little little bit different. I put some purple on the head, orange on the belly. Something about the pro boot blue, orange, and, and blue. This is just an outstanding trolling combination for walleye. And then I added a almost like a little rip, rip out perch part to the striping. So we've got some gold and uh, some texturing in this. We did the under layer and then came back over it. So I did a gold up top and sprayed black on the bottom and then wrapped that. That's how you get that. And this is going to run long because there's just so much to get through. And I was thinking maybe I should do two, but that kind of kind of seems like a, a rip off because that's just making you know making you guys watch two videos instead of one. And it's it's really not about that for me. It is for some YouTubers out there, and I get that. I totally get that. So this is how I make my living too, but just seems, just seems to make more sense for one video. So this is that black and purple against a red fading to orange, fading to yellow. And, and again, a little bit of texturing in that as well, if I can get the camera close up on it. And those really, really cool eyes. I love those red eyes. And, and some of this is hand painted eyes too, if you go back to this one. That's a hand paint because these come with eyes. They come with 3D eyes in them and they're super glued in just like I do with my stuff. So it's a real pain in the butt and I don't want to damage the blank around the eyes trying to dig that eye out. So it's just kind of easier to hand paint some stuff, um, giving it back to the customer. This is a, a pickerel, which also is going to be a pretty killer pattern for trolling. And I gave it some hot pink eyes on that and a little fluorescent orange on the belly. And, uh, oh, okay, I'm sorry, Berkeley. This is the, these are the flicker minnows, these two little ones. I knew it was like two, two, and one. So two Berkleys, two bandits, and a Rapala. And then we've got this perch pattern. And I was able to do my eyes on that. So these came out, this one and this one are the the bandits and then you've got the Rapala and the two Berkeleys so nice little perch pattern there we've got a couple of warts going out to my boy Flores he's one of my pro staffers and uh, yeah it's crankbait season y'all those girls are coming up shallow we have another wiggle wart special order for a local guy here in Arkansas, Richie. And uh, this is, you know, I'm just having fun. I know you guys, I've shown you this one before on the square bill with the unique eyes. This is the wiggle wart version of it. Love that color blue on the tips of that bill. And yeah, wiggle warts are probably one of the few that, um, and it's just a traditional thing for them to be painted. What do we got back here? I was going to tell you about this Rapala. So, this is one of the old made in Finland. And when you fact check that, you can see on this side. See if we can flip that over. Yeah. It says Finland on it. So, this is the Down Deep made in Finland. And this was a repossessed, reclaimed bait. We float tested it, um, very, very thoroughly cleaned it, cleaned up the bill, 
Um, the chartreuse was already on the bill, but I added just a little bit of that smoke fade to it to kind of give it that vintage look. And then put a little bit of craw flow orange on the belly. And that's a unique stencil that's been cut for that. So there we go there. That I showed you the Strike King real quick with these eyes. This is heading out. This was an auction win and a repaint, Proline repaint. A few more of these. <clears throat> now this is that um, pre-foiled. And this weighs a little bit over half an ounce. I want to say it's like nine sixteenths. But this is almost the same, um, the same pattern as the Rayburn craws are. But I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I gave it a black back, gave it an orange belly, and then added white and did some hand detailing. And that's, that's really going to shine and pop in that water put those red eyes on there. I did more of my traditional crawl on this one. I know, 15 minutes, good Lord girl. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, um, <laughs> when I hit 5K, we're gonna do a mega, mega giveaway. And it's probably gonna be supplies. I have uh, some excess stuff that I really wanna share with the community. So stay tuned for that if you guys have made it. And it looks like we'll hit it um, we're right around 3,900, so it's not, it's, and we're moving quick, so it shouldn't be too much longer before we can get to that goal. I've shown you these. I've shown you these. I've shown you that. I'm just going through the desk real quick to see if there's anything else, and I think that's the day, folks. I'm going to get my day started. I'm going to get my shipping going on. Yep, um, had some breakfast. And it's, uh, well, for me, it's almost 7 o'clock in the morning now. So I have, I've kind of rambled on too long. You guys have a fantastic day and the rest of your week. We do have spray sessions coming out. I just needed to get a day off. Um, and I appreciate you guys understanding that. So we'll talk to you soon. See you on the water. Happy casting and cheers.